good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in the world welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another account update earlier today i made an emergency video talking about this symmetrical triangle which was forming on a one hourly time frame but unfortunately the video wasn't watched as much as i would have loved to but maybe that's just because the video was too short so i would ask for your help here spreading this video by tapping the like button delicately tap that like button make it colorful also if you're interested in quant i would encourage you to subscribe to the channel because i do ta on quant on a regular basis right without me running my mouth too much let me get straight into the content so we now have a complete symmetrical triangle on a one hourly time frame and when you take a zoom right here you can see that here yeah, we had a breakout and a retest that's really nice to see a successful retest actually and we are trying to go higher at the moment now taking a look at the volume profile you can see that here uh, the volume is trending downwards right here the formation of this uh, formation here and uh, it's actually something that is expected to be honest and what you want to see really is at the breakout of the downward stopping resistance here you want to see an uptick in the volume and that's exactly what we have so from a theoretical point of view this is actually a perfect a textbook pattern uh, at the moment but as i always say these things are not guaranteed i mean all the indicators in the world could line up to tell you that this is a buy and the price does the exact opposite so yeah stay vigilant right here if you're not a professional trader please stay away from these things obviously this is not financial advice but yeah, it is what it is now uh things could literally go wrong right here and the price could uh, go down to as uh, you know as low as 115 dollars but for me this is the unlikely scenario really and i'm rooting for the more likely scenario here which is uh 153 dollars they're about right in the immediate short term i mean uh, it could be as early as um tomorrow or maybe the day after latest right so yeah obviously this uh price target has big implications on a bigger time frame right which i'll show you in a minute right here so yeah, on a bigger time frame you can see that we are running right into resistance right here this is major resistance which is starting at 150 dollars obviously psychological resistance there up until 163 dollars so yeah this resistance zone right here is actually a major important area of value on the current price so you can see that we interacted with this zone here uh it supported us to you know set our all-time high and uh, we got supported a little bit right here we got rejected rejected and finally now we are back testing the resistance so the big question obviously is are we going to break above the resistance then now when you take a look at it from a volume profile perspective you can actually see that we have quite enough volume right i mean talking about just to break the resistance this is really what you want to see when you're running towards the resistance but obviously obviously as i always say you could get rejected but the volume is giving a very encouraging picture here especially on a three daily time frame we could also look at it from a fibonacci retracement perspective saying that okay if we are to break this um, resistance right here let's take uh, a candle which is above that resistance there and pulling it to the low that we have right here you can see that yeah we are running into also a resistance here which is uh, 0.786 and it's sitting at 147 dollars um yeah what we want to see here if we are going to continue is we want to see a candle close above the 147 uh, dollar mark there so a daily closure above 147 148 there about will give us at least a ticket to go out and take out this high which is at uh, 176 right and uh obviously we would have gotten above our resistance line because the maximum value for this resistance zone is 165 dollars so yeah we'll be waiting to see that here obviously we've been monitoring this inverse head and shoulders pattern which we were looking for i mean for i think it was a month or something like this we were looking for this and we finally got it it's a great feeling that we have it and uh looking at uh you know it's um confirmation we can see that from a volume profile standpoint the volume is behaving as much as we would like it to do you can see that at these lows right here you expect the volume to be trending to the downside and that's exactly what we have here look at this point look at this point the formation of the head as well as the formation of the right shoulder there you have a diminishing volume profile and that's exactly what you want to see this is textbook uh, formation on this quant price set here so it's looking too good really and obviously you want to see uh an uptick in the volume right here let me quickly highlight this here you can see this uptick in the volume at the breakout of this downward stopping resistance so from our head and shoulders pattern we are looking looking very good the price target for this invested and shoulders pattern if i am to repeat myself here because we've been talking about this for a whole month i mean people who have been watching this channel know exactly what we are talking about so the price target is basically something like 230 
dollars uh, in the immediate short term. Obviously, this is a little bit skewed because um, my line is not straight, but we have looked at it. It's not the first time we are talking about this thing. So we we're looking at two hundred thirty dollars in the coming weeks or months here on the quant price. So another thing that we could also look at to try and validate this in by and shoulders pattern is obviously the RSI. You can see that at the formation of the head, you have an oversold RSI. This is really what you want to see with invest head and shoulders pattern. Actually, with head and shoulders patterns in general, because they reverse our patterns and yeah, you want to reverse a prior trend right here, which is a downtrend and hitting oversold on the RSI is really something that is really really good with this invest head and shoulders pattern. We could also looking at the moving average on the three daily time frame here. You can see that we have a golden cross approaching here with the you know it's the twenty. Uh, moving average here as well as the 100 moving average so we have a golden cross happening right here and on a daily time frame we have another bullish cross happening here with the 50 and the 20 so yeah obviously people will be like yeah these are lagging indicators but to be honest we've been monitoring these indicators for a very long time so it's lagging to those who are looking at them for the first time but uh, we've been looking at these indicators for a very long time and uh, we are having what we actually were anticipating from the beginning but obviously is there a scenario where we get a pullback what are the support levels that we should be looking at so basically when you look at it from this invested and shoulders pattern what you really want to see is maybe a retest of this downward stopping resistance here and it's really difficult to tell because it's downward stopping right so the support levels are always changing but uh when you look at this rally here from the lows that we had at 88 dollars here you can see that uh until the very top here where we are i think it was 17 147 uh, or something like that really until now we have been supported at the first retracement level here the 0.236 uh, retracement level yeah we have had weeks uh, below that level but um we haven't had a daily candle below that level so yeah it's really good uh, it shows actually a lot of strength uh, from the quant price set here but uh, another level that i'm looking at if we get a rejection here is the 0.382 because it's coming into confluence at least with the downward stopping resistance right here and uh, that resistance is sitting at um uh 123 dollars where we actually had a breakout right so yeah that level is something that we need to look at so i'll be looking at 123 dollars maybe the chart gives an opportunity for people who are not involved uh, right at this breakout to enter the trade one more time but uh, obviously this is not financial advice this is just my own opinion please don't follow this as financial advice i would encourage only uh, professional traders to take action right otherwise buying and holding is the best for most people right now when you take a look at the rsi it's actually indicating that we are oversold right here but uh normally what i've seen with cryptocurrencies is yeah we can be oversold right here we can be as oversold as 99 percent 98 percent right and uh still not have a reversal so yeah i mean yeah we can see that we have something like a you know bearish divergence but I mean, I wouldn't look in too much into it because I've seen this thing failing a lot uh, in crypto markets, actually. In traditional finance, maybe um, it doesn't fail that much, but in cryptos, it's really something that uh, you don't need to look at too much. To summarize everything, we are looking at the price set here heading into the weekend. We are heading into resistance, major resistance. At the same time, from a shorter time from perspective, we can see that uh, we have a continuation pattern in the form of a symmetrical triangle. We will see how far we go with that one, but uh, it's looking likely that we will go ahead and hit the price target at $153 in the immediate short term. And we are monitoring this invest head and shoulders pattern. We finally got it. The price target is $220. So fingers crossed we will be able to get there in the coming weeks. With that being said, there probably won't be a video over the weekend um, barring any crazy price action in the market. But until then, see you. Take care. Bye.